Hey everyone, this is our very first live YouTube video and um, we'll see how this goes. We have some awesome shirts I'm wearing it right now and it's supporting season two of Horse Rescue Heroes. And um, we have raised over a thousand dollars so far and we have uh, three days left to go. And our goal is 150 shirts of being sold and we're at 61 so far. Um, I do believe Caleb has a link here uh, he's going to be putting up. Um, if not, I will get that sent to you. You have the link? Okay, we're going to send this to Caleb. He is uh, going to be answering your questions. Um, if you're joining us, let us know where you're from. We'd love to hear from you. I can answer a few questions. Um, again, this is our first time going live um, on YouTube, so. Um, hello from West Virginia. Hello. West Virginia is a beautiful state. And California. And California, Cali I was born in California, so. England and Sweden England. and Washington and right. Tennessee and awesome. Australia, Woo. Awesome, all right. So we will get this link here and I'm hoping you can check out these shirts. Uh, they're by Custom Inc. And Custom Inc. is considering sponsoring us. Um, for our staff uniforms and we would love to have them sponsor us and they said well why don't you try doing a YouTube video about the fundraiser and we'll kind of get feedback on how many people you know respond so I'm hoping y'all respond because um, we would love to have their their uh, um, yeah we're gonna put the link in the media chat where you can check out these shirts and um, this is season two of Horse Rescue Heroes. And that's where we go and mentor another organization. We mentored Ponytails uh, in Wisconsin. If anyone's watching from Wisconsin, check out Ponytails Refuge and Rehab. They're a great organization. And um, so I'm trying to multitask and get this uh, link over to Caleb so you can, uh... all right, you should have the link. Um, so um, we went up there and they were just a struggling organization. Um, Cindy was working her horse rescue out of her husband's uh, mechanic shop. And so to get horses in and out of the barn, they would like lead them through the lifted car hydraulics. It was, it was something else. So Jason and I have been rescuing for so many years, horses and you know, well, this works, that doesn't work. And we said, you know, what if we take our philosophy and go to other horse rescues and just kind of show them what we do not say this is how you have to do it just a mentoring aspect of hey we've tried this it works we've tried this it didn't work and so that's what the TV show is about it is on YouTube season one with ponytails and um, it's it's an amazing journey that, that was one of our horses just winning we have it opened up here because uh, we really don't have the best internet here at our facility but fiber is coming so so that is great um so i don't know um if if you all see that link there um you know, kayla's working on it um but we would love to sell some more of these shirts um and the proceeds from these shirts are going to our media team so if you like watching our videos and you know this upcoming season where we're mentoring another organization we would we would love for you to get one of these shirts uh, support the cause and the funds from it is going to help uh, make this season two uh, where we're mentoring another organization absolutely amazing um, so Caleb you can let me know when you get it up there He's working on it and uh, it, it, it came through. It came through. All yeah. right. So please click on that link. Um, like I said, Cousin Mink is uh, considering, um, you know, sending us sponsored shirts for our staff. Uh, that means we wouldn't have to be purchasing uh, the expense of, you know, having our uniforms because, um, you know, we have a lot of staff here to help all the horses. We have the grant programs and you know, the media program, and uh, we would love to, to get that uh, going. So I'm hoping uh, somebody will check out these sh uh, shirts. We have a hoodie um, on the back is, um, well, this is um, the shirt I'm wearing now, and I'm wearing a medium, uh, but they, they run a little small. Um, let's see if I can turn around here. You can see it has our logo on the back. 
Um, and they're very comfortable, comfortable shirts. And you can purchase it and know that you're helping, you're helping out our cause. And if you like watching our, our programs, you know, it's going to help, help that. So I'm going to refresh it here, see if anyone has purchased one. Not yet. Well, I'm hoping that you will uh, check this out. Um, here's the guy shirt um, or unisex. And then there's also a sweater. Um, and these are great ways to show that you support the work we do and also raise awareness for our upcoming TV show. Um, somebody asked, do we ship to the UK? Uh, yes, I believe so. Um, so you would just go, now custom ink, so the way these shirts are working is um, they're being sold through custom ink and there's a percentage, like this is how much has been raised from the shirts that comes to us. And we've actually been purchasing our staff shirts from custom ink from the very beginning and we absolutely love their products. And in the very early days, we would purchase shirts from them and it was like a couple days later they would send us a donation we're like oh yay that's so awesome and they've really grown just like we have grown uh since those Is days um i'm just seeing here so let's say we were going to buy the shirt i'm wearing um so we click on the the shirt and then um you say how many you want let's say it's a medium and then you can also donate extra money so you know, let's, let's say you wanted to donate $1,000 or $100. Well, you always just click on there, and then you would type in your amount. I'm pretty You'd sure. You'd have to hit other, and it's I'd a have to Don't worry about other. it. Just Anyways, click the donation button when you're making this, and then um, you'd enter in your information. You just have to fill it out to find out if they ship to the UK. I believe they do. Um, the shipping might be just a little bit different. So, um, How long will they be available? They are available. Um, let me go back three more here. Days, three so. more days. Um, and one person contacted us, had a really good idea. Um, she's like, you know, hey, can I just purchase a shirt off of here and send it to you? And then you can put it in your adoption packs. And we said, absolutely. So um, even if you're like, you know what? I want to support the cause. I don't really want to wear the shirt though, for whatever reason. I think they're nice, comfy shirts, but you don't want to do that. You can um, just purchase it and put our address in and, and then we'll put it in our adoption packet. So, um, is there any questions coming in as far as... Um, Are the uh, sweatshirts lined? lined um i don't believe so i think it's just a solid it's a thick. it's a fleecy inside it's yeah. it's it's soft um when we were wearing um the first when we first started filming season two um i put mine on and it's very soft it's not i don't know if it's lion meaning like there's an inside fleece line or if it's just um soft inside it's not the same fabric on the outside as the inside one of the most comfortable hoodies i Oh, Caleb says it's one of the most comfortable hoodies he owns. So, um, and Caleb is right over here answering answering questions for y'all. Um, so, just want to talk a little bit about uh, what's happening today. Um, while you're you're checking out these these orders, I'm really hoping we at least get you know somebody order something here. Let's see if anything. Oh, nobody yet. Wow. Well, apparently I'm not a very good. Uh, t-shirt salesman I should just stick with horses apparently <laughs> anyways so for today um, we do have the next weekly episode coming out um, and probably about 45 minutes or 30, so 35 minutes from, 35 right now. Minutes from now um, our next episodes coming out and it's a very good episode um, one thing that happens in this episode is uh, the big lick a horse show is going on right now and our team goes um, to protest at the show and just say you know that this big lick abuse is is wrong and um, what they do to these horses is say boy I, um, Caleb can you go grab one of my stacks from my office it's um, in my um, desk up high the, in the cupboard um, I'm gonna have Caleb grab me um, a stack from 
uh, at one of the Tennessee walking horses that we rescued. Uh, and so they'll put the, um, the stack on the horse's um, foot and that horse lives with that stack on. It doesn't, it doesn't come, I mean, it comes off to get uh, trimmed and put the stack on again. Um, let's see, he's bringing me one here. Perfect, thank you. Um, so this is off of a horse that we rescued. So the horse's hoof, um, they grow out the toe, so it comes in here, and then the strap clamps down over like this, and then they, the horse's foot is also nailed to the stack. And so the horse is wearing this, this big heavy duty stack. Um, they've got like, um, this looks pretty much like a tire tread on the back here. Um, there's a ton of nails in it. We've done x-rays with horses wearing these and it's, it's pretty rough what's in there. And so once the horse is wearing this, uh, because to get that big lick artificial gait, they have to have the stacks on, they will put um, all kinds of cocks, well, just chemicals on the horse that hurts the horse uh, and makes their skin sensitive. So once they put the chemicals on there, they'll wrap their uh, pastern's legs up and they like to say this never happens, but I, I mean, in the last six years, I can't tell you how many big lick horses we've rescued that have chemical burns and blisters on their legs. And so um, once the horse's skin is tender, they will put a chain on there. And when the horse walks or moves forward with these stacks, when the chain hits their sensitive skin, they will flinch as if you touched a hot stove and you're like, ooh they flinch, which causes that big artificial gait. Um, so we are strongly against it. Um, oh, we, gotta, we have a question. a question. What's the difference between the big lick and dressage like you see in the Olympics? So the big lick is completely different. And the fact, if you look at the horses that are doing dressage in the Olympics, they're not wearing stacks they're not wearing action devices such as chains on their feet to make them do an artificial gait those horses are trained with trainers to do those gates and they're very much a natural kind of highlighting the horse's ability not oh yay we sold some shirts look at that <gasps> we sold two so thank you whoever purchased the shirts thank you so much we have got two um let's see if y'all left a comment down here um Let's see here. Oh, and they donated $20. Thank you. And anonymous. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much for purchasing those shirts. And I hope if you're watching, there's a link in this, uh, the comments and, uh, you can go purchase the shirts to support the work we do. I think we have another question. So actually it's a, it's something Kathy says, I used to show flat shod walkers. I saw so many abused big licks over these years. Thank you for saving these beautiful horses. Yeah, yeah, and we, and that's the thing with these big lick horses. It's, they're such beautiful horses with such awesome natural gates. They don't need to be tortured to make an artificial gate that a judge has an idea that this is the look they want. Not a legal judge. It's a horse show judge. It's a horse show. Yeah, it's it's a horse show judge um, judging which horse can you know fling its leg the best wearing this ridiculous stack. Um, so uh, last Thursday, um, our team went to protest at the show, and you're going to see this in our our episode um, that's going to be premiering here shortly. It's basically as soon as I get off, get ready to watch this episode. And um, they first they stopped um, at the uh, one of the Tennessee Walking Horse magazines, um, and they were probably asked to leave um, leave the property. Uh, basically, they asked them to please consider at least having the kids wear helmets uh, when they're showing horses in these stacks. Um, I've seen where horses these stacks have gotten ripped off. Um, it you know. You put little kids on a big horse wearing platforms and action devices for the kids' safety. You know, please help have them wear helmets. Because um, then, if you go show jumping or you know any of these other type of sports, um, you know you don't see a kid out there not wearing a helmet in a, a you know the actual show jumping shows. So we were asking for them to consider that, and then um, 
also went to the newspaper and said, you know, will you, because they have a sign that they're supporting uh, the show with a horse doing the big lick um, on this little poster in front of their newspaper. And they never have said, hey, um, you know, this is, um, this isn't okay, you know, or, or shown the side of, you know, horse advocates saying, you know, there's another side to this. And, um, you know, as newspapers go, they should share both sides. Uh, anytime there's news, you know, you go, you share both sides of the story. You're not just stuck on one side. And so um, it was pretty interesting what happened uh, there. But you're going to have to watch the episode. Oh, let's see here. We're going to refresh this. And, oh, wow, 65. Eight. That's awesome, guys. Thank you so much. Um, and, again, there's 150 um, shirts. We, we've got three days left to sell. Um, and the proceeds are all going to... Um, help oh so we'll see uh looks like the last person purchased a shirt and donated 25 dollars. so thank you so much and so that means we've raised uh, 1120 dollars. so uh thank you so much so um anytime we have the opportunity to speak out against the soaring and what happens uh with these horses you know we've 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 rescued so many of them in the slaughter pipeline. That's kind of where it seems like they like to make them disappear is, um, you know, when their show days are over, uh, you know, there's a lot of hip problems because they have so much weight, um, about 70% of the weight on the hind end instead of the front end. Um, so it's just, it's so artificial. The horses, I mean, we've seen such sad cases that have come in and the horses can barely walk because their, their hips are just shot. And, um, you know, we would we really hope that someday horse Tennessee walking horses will be shown flat shod and shown for their natural ability, and that's what we're asking um, for because it's it it really is really sad. Um, anyways, I hope that this video goes far and wide and you're able to share it. And uh, oh, 66, woo, that's awesome. Uh, thank you so much for everything. Is there any more questions? Um, ask people to ask questions yeah, too. if you got any more questions, I'd be happy to. Um, and I don't know how many people are watching. 117. 117. That's awesome. So um, one thing, uh, Aspen Fallen says, thank you for explaining these terms often. As a non-horse person, I didn't know what most of them were before your show. Awesome. And that's that's kind of what our show is about is really educating people in a lot of ways in a, a fun way of just showing the work we do on a day-to-day -day basis uh, because if you just you don't know that these these issues are out there um, it's like we have another question my voice is like going <clears throat> sorry okay clear your voice how many horses are up for adoption right now do you so we had a great big adoption event last month we had 20 horse adoptions and one cat adoption we have a lot of cats that need homes right now so if you if you have if you have a home and can take a cat, please contact us. There's no cat services here in Tennessee in our area for taking kittens. So they get dumped on the road and eaten by coyotes. It's just horrible. So we do take kittens um, and you know a lot of them come in really sick and that's always really, really hard. But we do have lots of cats that need homes and we also have lots of horses. So we just came off of last month where we had a big adoption event and um, we had the 20 adoptions, and then we have uh, over 30 horses in quarantine from the last auction rescue. And I know there's been some questions about how many horses were humanely euthanized that came in from auction. So in total, there was 51 horses that our organization, Ponytails, came together to rescue from the auction. And in that group, there was the critical ones right off the bat. The doc was like, this, this is, we can't, we can't let this suffering continue. So they were humanely euthanized and then there were seven on a watch list and all of them, you know, despite us trying and, you know, the watch list is kind of like, we, we hope they're gonna do better, but there was a lot of lameness issues and uh, there was some cancer problems and they just, they couldn't, they weren't manageable with pain. So out of the 51 horses uh, that we rescued, there were 13 uh, that needed the last act of kindness. 
but you know, I know a lot of people are like, ooh, why, why were those horses? Those were horses that owners should have had them humanely euthanized. They were taken to the auction. Their owners made money off of them instead of paying a veterinarian to do the right thing. And then, you know, we rescued them and had to step into those shoes. So, you know, it's a lot of times when we go to auctions, you know, we rescue horses we know are gonna need humane euthanasia because we don't wanna see them go to slaughter, so. It looks like we have another question. Sarah says, I love your hair. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, I always put horse water trough on it, uh, water, every so often. Keeps it alive. And and, uh, and then Lexi wonders. And it is when... naturally curly, if anyone's wondering. I don't I don't spend money to make it curly. It just it grows out of my head that way. And Lexi <laughs> wonders when the next auction is. The 21st um, of this month is the next auction. And if you can uh, please support us uh, with us going to the auction and also our grant program. Uh, you know, we are helping so many horses across the United States. We also, uh, uh, there was a rescue in Indonesia that contacted us. Or the, we, we've been following for a long time and found out there was a really critical need and we were able to help them. So um, last month we helped 39 horses in Indonesia and um, in total, it was 229 horses. There will be a monthly report getting posted here soon. Um, but it's just amazing what we're able to do with your all's support coming in. And in total, I know Jason's wanting to talk about that. In total, we have rescued, sheltered, and protected 125 precious lives. That 1,000. 1,000. Okay, oh, yeah. I am dyslexic and numbers are terrible. So here we go again. In total, in the last eight months, we have rescued 1,025 precious lives, rescued, sheltered, and protected. And that's amazing. That's only, you know, possible thanks to you all. Um, oh, so we want to refresh this and see, see what's happened here. And if you're just joining us, ooh, wow, 69. Check that out. Um, so we're almost to 70. That's so awesome. So um, anyways, we couldn't do the work we, we do without you. And our media program is a huge uh, part um, of raising awareness and being able to show people what's actually happening here in the United States with um, what's going on with the horses. And you know, next year we hope to take our, our grant program uh, even more global, like we are helping in Indonesia, we want to be helping across the world because we know you, our supporters, are watching across the world and we want to impact horses and help them in your, your areas as well. So thank you so much for watching and um, I'm going to refresh it one more time and we're going to have to hop off because we do have a busy day. But do, um, do keep an eye on our Facebook, oh, we're still at 69. Um, you're gonna say and, and then um, also the uh, next episode is, is premiering Yes, the next soon. episode is premiering really soon, so I have to hop off. But do keep an eye on our Facebook page because I will be going live later today. Um, I think we're opening Amazon packages next. And then uh, later uh, this afternoon, um, I will be going live. I can't say what we're going to be doing, but it is very important. And we will continue to be the voice for these horses. And I just want to thank you so much for joining, watching, uh, purchasing a shirt to help uh, fund our media program. And uh, just thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you all have a wonderful morning, day, evening, night, wherever you are in this world. Thank you for watching and uh, be the voice for horses because they need it. Have a great day.